Uh, good morning. All right, so uh, without boring us and putting us to sleep, explain to us what a TDD is and why it's so bad. TDDs are transportation development districts, and these were initially uh, created to assist local communities with transportation-related projects that benefit the public interest. But we released an audit yesterday that shows that these TDDs have basically morphed into public funding sources for private developers. These uh, taxing districts are completely unaccountable, racking up about a billion dollars in taxpayer debt uh, that we are going to have to pay off with sales tax. However, we've never voted on this. I mean, this is taxation without representation. All right. Explain to this, because we hear the phrase, and I know for a fact that you, you mentioned a couple of them yesterday, but I know... Uh, the 141 in Manchester Road, uh, Costco and Walmart over there, that was all had a big TDD. And you hear these TDDs, it's sort of this acronym no one really knows about. Explain to us how they work and how we got to this point. So TDDs are uh, public bodies. They are political subdivisions. And there was a change in the law that allowed developers to set these up for themselves without any registered voters within the district boundaries. So a, de a developer can create a TDD, they can elect the board and basically control the board of the TDD, uh, then they can uh, procure contracts uh, and bids, uh, charging sales tax, voting themselves those contracts, and then approving payments to themselves uh, with these sales tax dollars. Um, it is uh, ripe with uh, conflicts of interest and self-dealing. Again, they're charging you sales tax without any public vote uh, whatsoever. And when you shop at these locations, you're paying these sales taxes that are eventually being funneled back towards the developer and the board that controls them. And, and this is all perfectly legal? Yes, that's exactly right. What they're doing uh, is allowable under the laws as they're written. I mean, essentially, through the TDD laws, the General Assembly has legalized conflicts of interest and self-dealing, which is why I'm calling for a complete overhaul of these TDD laws. Uh, it is just completely unacceptable and outrageous what is happening. Um, when, uh, w this is a relatively new concept, is it not? The, the law was initially passed in 1990, and it was revised in 1997 to allow for these micro districts. So districts that might have one parcel of land or one uh, development on them. Uh, so they're completely unaccountable from the, uh, from the people. And we have seen about 200 now, over 200 developed uh, since 1997. And they're all across the state. I mean, consumers and taxpayers, uh, you know, in order to escape a TDD, you basically cannot shop. <laughs> uh, and so that's why this system is really rigged against the citizens. They're rigged against the taxpayers. Uh, the, you're the, as we've joked on the show, you're the lone Democrat who actually stands up and calls themselves a Democrat in the state these days down in Jefferson City. Uh, what has been the reaction to uh, your news conference from yesterday calling out this form of taxation? You know, the people that I have talked to, I've gotten several comments from citizens um, and, you know, in discussing these TDD audits, uh, they feel outraged. They feel like it's, uh, you know, the system is rigged against them. Um, they don't understand how these conflicts of interest can be legal. And I agree with that. Um, you know, I, I totally see that point of view. If we were in another uh, type of local government where a board member voted themselves a contract and then voted to pay themselves with public funds, um, you know, that would be a, a violation of the law. And we would be sending this over to a prosecuting attorney or the attorney general's office or something. But the way these TDD laws are written, all of this is allowed. Um, you know, of those 200, uh, over 200 TDDs that I mentioned across the state, 81% are controlled by the developer or the owner, 81%. And significant amount of construction and administrative costs are submitted by the developer, paid to themselves with your tax dollars. Uh, is it only a developer, or can I start a TDD around my house and tax people who drive down the street? Well, uh, you would not. Uh, you could you could form, I guess, a TDD around your own property, um, but you would only be able to if you don't have any taxable sales. Then uh, you could charge yourself a, a special assessment or property tax. So uh, that may not be too beneficial. You might as well just save money in your own bank account. Oh, okay, right. But but I mean, but I mean, is it only developers who can start a TDD, or is it anybody? Like, can a town start a TDD? Yes, yeah, so a developer or property owner, um, if the district boundaries are drawn wide enough to include registered voters, 
voters uh, can create a TDD, but that's not what we're seeing. Um, you know, if you're saying a, a t- degrees are uh, as wide as St. Louis County, that means St. Louis County voters would have a say because registered voters would be within the district boundaries. These TDDs are purposefully drawn to only include uh, retail or commercial development, so there's no registered voters who then have a say in the sales tax. So who votes if you create, like in your uh, news conference yesterday, you were talking about a parking lot. Well, no one lives on a parking lot, so who actually votes on that TDD? Just the developer and the property owners. There's no registered voters. No vote of the public. No public say. So because they draw the lines any way they want and no one lives within the boundary, the developer gets to vote and all registered voters, and since there are no registered voters because they drew the boundaries, they vote any way they want and they get whatever they want. That's exactly right. That's how we found uh, the Convention Center TDD uh, was able to extend a property tax from 13 years to 40 years without a vote of the people. That board was able to take that action with no public input and no public say. Um, You know, we had elections just this past week or last week uh, where folks were voting on sales tax. They had a say uh, in, in yes or no, do they want a sales tax or not? These boards, these developer-controlled boards, can vote to extend sales tax, can vote to charge you sales tax, and you have no say. So you're telling me that the convention center extended the tax to 40 years. Do we know how much money they're raking in each year on that tax? I don't have that uh, off the top of my head, but um, you're correct. It's It's the convention center TDD, which are businesses around the convention center and a parking garage. Um, that were able to extend the tax from 13 years to 40 years just on their own, their own action. But, but the tax goes where? It goes to the city into the general revenue fund? No, it goes to pay off uh, the parking garage, um, which was owned and controlled by the developer and the owner. So you're telling me that the city of St. Louis voted down an MLS stadium Um, And yet these tax tax transportation tax districts can sort of extend these taxes whenever they want, however they want, to their own benefit. But as everybody wanted the MLS stadium, that was voted down. So the developers who are building the parking lot are going to be reimbursed. But to build an MLS stadium, that's going down. That's right. Wow. That is really interesting. What has been the reaction after you said you want to, you want to, well, let me ask you this question. Other states do this or is it only a Missouri? Uh, Missouri is quite unique uh, in the way that we set up our taxing districts. Um, in other states, such as Ohio and New Jersey, these districts uh, involve some state transportation agencies or some general state oversight. For instance, in Ohio, uh, when they're created, it cre- it, there has to be a vote of the county commission. There's a member of the general, general assembly or other municipal level elected officials that will serve on the board uh, where the district is formed. So there is a chance for public accountability. You're actually voting for the people that oversee these activities. Um, and so Missouri is quite different where 81 percent of these districts are the boards are controlled by the developer and the owner who's charging you sales tax voting themselves the contracts and paying themselves with public dollars with no oversight, no accountability whatsoever. Uh, have you heard from the, uh, the governor, Eric Reitens, on this? I have not. Hmm. Any, uh, but, you know, if anybody that wants to work with me to change these TDD laws uh, so the system is not rigged against the citizen, I'm game. I want to change these laws um, because it is outrageous the way that they're set up now. And we need to be able to protect the voters, protect the citizens and taxpayers. Nicole Galloway, a Missouri State Auditor, joining us after the news conference yesterday. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you're always welcome here. Talk to you soon. Thank you. You got it. How's that? How's that? How's that for the way the government works today? Is that unbelievable? Uh, I, I will also say this. Everyone looks at left, right, prisms, Republican, Democrat, liberal media, conservative media, right wing, this and that. Um, this TDD has been brought up by the Show Me Institute, which is a free market think tank. Like, look, this is completely corrupt, as well as a Democratic auditor. Um, somebody needs to explain to me. Somebody needs to explain to me why it's beneficial that developers can do this while shooting down an MLS stadium, right? Well, welcome to politics.
Nine forty 